Keep going, keep going, keep going, let's go. Step up the rail. This week on Sport Fishing, we're back aboard the Ranger 85. We left out of Oxnard last night, and right now we're at Santa Rosa Island. Just got the first fish of the day. Jim just caught it. Beautiful yellowtail right here. So that's what the plan is today. We're gonna stay here at the island during the morning, look for some more yellowtail, maybe a halibut or two. You never know what to expect. Afterwards, we'll go offshore a little bit and go fish for the rockfish. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. I'm Dan Hernandez and I live to fish. All right. <laughs> I have been fishing along the Pacific coast my entire life. Oh! Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. Here we are headed to the Twilight Zone. Another adventure with Dan Hernandez. Chucklehead. Ranger 85. First fish for the day. One of many. This is a fantail sole caught aboard the Ranger 85. It's gonna taste real good on the barbecue later. It's a beautiful fish. Nice vermilion rockfish on the bucktail here. Nice quality rockfish. Nice red snapper on the Ranger 85. One of many that I'm gonna to catch today. All right, good morning. We're coming at you here on the Ranger 85 at Santa Rosa Island. Tried for some yellowtail this morning. We got a couple. The conditions weren't quite right. We uh, decided to venture off and target some rockfish here. Starting out pretty good. We got a couple nice lincod, a few whitefish, a couple nice reds on our first drift here. Um, Becky got yeah. this nice whitefish and a strip of squid. And we're looking for some more action here. It's working a bucktail on the bottom. Skipper made a move. We left from the island offshore a little bit for rockfish, and there's always great rock fishing up here in Channel Islands. We're just swimming a bucktail on the bottom, and I got bit. So I don't know if it's a nice rockfish or a small lingcod. It's not a monster fish, but it feels good. Just working that bucktail right on the bottom with a single tail grub on there. Let's see what this is. See if I need a gaff or not. I don't think so, though. There we go. Little lingcod. So 
There we go. So here's that little lingcod and just working the bucktail, swimming the, with that little grub on there and destroy the grub. So nice fish. We're gonna let it go right now. Go ahead and let it go. There we go. Nice red on the bucktail. That's a really nice red, sir. Beautiful Thanks. fish. On the bucktail, too. Those were amazing today. Which number? Uh, number three. Great job. That's what it felt. That's what it used. So Skipper made a move. We're in deeper water now, about 240, 250 feet. So I switched over to two one ounce B52 bucktails with 16 ounces of lead on the bottom. I just got to bottom and I got slammed. So I don't know if it's a nice rockfish, little lingcod. I don't know. Hopefully it's some nice big chuckleheads. So I have Spectra line right here. You got 50 pound Spectra and then on top of that I have 30 pound monofilament. And for this type of fishing, you don't need fluorocarbon because we're fishing so deep. So just straight mono. And just taking it nice and easy, you're not gonna pump it or anything. Just lay the rod on the rail and just wind. Oh, it's shaking its head there. Double, it looks like. Nice. There we go. Thanks, man. A nice chucklehead, nice salmon grouper. Again, just using the one ounce B52 bucktail. And you have to be careful with these because all those spines, they got a little venom in them and you do not want to get stuck. These guys will tell you they've been stuck enough times. <laughs> That's a bucktail there. And just fishing it with the 16 ounces a lead and the double bucktail and get quality fish like this. We're over at the island. We're doing a lot of rock fishing and going inside looking for some calico bass, yellowtail. And when you come out here, you never know what to expect. So you got to bring a little bit wider selection of tackle. For the bigger stuff, the bigger yellowtail and the deeper rockfish, something like this works out good. 30 or 40 pound monofilament or you could put 80 pound spectra with a small piece of monofilament on top of it and it works out really good. For that inshore stuff or the shallow water rockfish, a little level wine reel like this works out really good. It's got a power handle on it, level wine, make it nice and easy to wind in. 65 pound spectra 
For the rockfish, just use a top shot that's monofilament, no fluorocarbon. If you're fishing on the surface for yellowtail with live bait or for calico bass, then you want to use the fluorocarbon. You don't want to waste the money of fluorocarbon when you're fishing down deep because the fish aren't going to see it. That fluorocarbon is designed for fishing right up on the surface. As far as artificials, for the lean cod and the big rockfish, a magic metal like this, glow in the darks will work out really good right up on the bottom. Lean cod like them, the rockfish like them. And if you want to target the lean cod, you can always do good with the big B52 six ounce model. For the smaller rockfish, go ahead and drop down to a smaller one ounce model. You can use two of these at one time and it'll work out fine too. If you're going to be fishing with live bait, please bring a wide selection of hooks because you never know what you're going to be using for bait. Could be live squid, could be strips of dead squid, live anchovies, sardines, you never know. So if you bring a box like this, you have all the different hooks you need. You won't run out of hooks and it won't matter what the situation is, you'll have the right hook for that type of fishing. When you're out there 40, 50 miles at sea, you can't go to the store, you gotta bring it out with you. Well, this is all the basic gear you need for this type of fishing. Let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. Nice chuck blend. Only this. We'll see what we got here. I have no idea, it's shaking its head. It's down about 230, 240 feet. It's just gonna take a few minutes for it to come up. But just taking it nice and slow. <laughs> Salmon grouper on a bucktail. Nice salmon grouper. Nice salmon grouper on a bucktail. Look at that. Pretty. Double 
bucktails, one ounce bucktails, 16 ounce sinker right on the bottom. Just great fishing here today aboard the Ranger 85 at the island. Let's see what I got here. There's color. I think I just got one this time. Oh, no, I got double. Double chuckles. Just using a bucktail just like that. There's a bucktail right here. And here comes another one. And you can see how wide I have my bucktails spread apart. And the reason I do that is so if I catch a monster fish, I can catch two of them. If you put them too close together, you're only gonna catch one fish. All right, really good fishing here aboard the Ranger E5s. It was a lot of fun. This week in the galley, we're aboard my boat down here in Long Beach, California. And standing next to me is Chef Rock. Hey, Chef. Dan the man. How are you, my brother? Pretty Pleasure good. to be back. Yeah, again. I haven't seen you in a long time. 20 years. And Chef has his own TV show in Hawaii. And uh, he's seen all over the country on some of his other programs. And today, what are you going to be cooking for, We're going to do a, a rockfish omelet style with coconut and almonds in a white wine butter sauce. Quick yeah. and easy. Something people can do at home. Everyone can do it at home. OK, how do we get started? You got to start out with a beautiful piece of fish. A little beautiful piece of, piece of rockfish you guys cook. Yeah. Right? All right, we're going to do a little dredging right here. I want to make sure it's completely covered with this seasoned flour. After I do the flour, I'm going to dip it into an egg that I just whipped nice and gentle to put this omelet batter on there. Then I have some hot oil in my saute pan, and I'm heating that up to almost that it's smoking. You can see when I drop a little in there, it cooks up really fast. So I wanna make sure it's completely covered. I'm putting that oil, that, that fish right into the oil, and that is canola oil that I'm using. Not a lot of flavor, I don't wanna overwhelm the fish. So on top of that wet part of the rockfish, I'm gonna put some coconut, and some almonds that I just chopped up. And I'm gonna press that onto it so it makes a nice little coat. This is a, a, a way where it starts coating on both sides. You see it's like an omelet. Mm -hmm. Now this could be finished off in the oven if you'd like. And since we have a little bit of time, I'm gonna just make sure it cooks all the way through. While I'm waiting, I'm gonna make a white wine butter sauce. So I have some white wine that I kind of cooked till it was reduced by half. So it really concentrates the flavor. Okay. And then I'm going to add some cold butter. Put that butter right in a bit and make a really cool sauce. So, well, here, Dan, you whip. Watch the bottom of that pan, it's going to be a little hot. Okay. So, I just want to go check this. It should be nice and toasty. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice and crunchy. Now, don't be afraid of the, the brown coconut because it takes that a nice caramely flavor because it's got a little sugar. Just going to whip the sauce until that butter starts to melt, but not separate. So okay. you just want it to, and it's a really light sauce. I'm gonna add a little parsley, a little bit of black pepper, a little bit of salt, just a little touch. To give it a nice little whip, okay. blend all those ingredients together. And then I'm just gonna lace this over the fish. Well, Chef, this looks delicious. There you go, dude. Just for you, my friend. So local rockfish and just battered up lightly. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try this with the Give that a try. Mmm. Nice, huh? Really nice. Just a little bit of that wine flavor with the butter, not too much. And the coconut just really pops through there. Nice, huh? That's what I like about rockfish. You can add any flavors to it. It just sucks it all in. Comes out really good. Thanks a lot, Chef. My pleasure, my friend. Always. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. Another nice red. Here we go, nice chuck lid. 
one for the road on the Ranger 85. Nice link cod. Link cod. Link cod on the Ranger 85 with Dan Hernandez. Oh, it's not a link. Oh! It's a monster. Grouper. If you ever want to see what a monster grouper looks like, <laughs> that's it. And that's a magic metal, 10 ounce jig. Nice big quality fish. All right, I'm gonna take a little break from the action here for the Ranger. And when we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. For this week's tip of the week, I want to talk to you a little bit about how we caught the fish today. We had great fishing today on the Ranger 85 here at Santa Rosa Island. And the big key was fishing bucktails with strips of squid. And the way I rigged it, I had two bucktails. I have them far enough apart, so if you caught a really big grouper or a big red, the two bucktails weren't going to be covered. So I put them far enough apart with a nice leader. And I'm fishing 30-pound test mono, 30-pound leader, just straight mono, no fluorocarbon fishing down 150 to 250 feet. And that worked out really good. And then on the bottom, using a 16 ounce sinker, putting it all the way in the bottom and just dangling these up above. That's this week's tip. Most of the fish today, all the guys are fishing bucktails, small bucktails, and the bigger bucktails were doing good on the lean cod and the other fish too. Just a lot of fun fishing today. Well, I wanna thank the captain, the whole crew aboard the Ranger. They did a great job. I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing. And I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing.